Sorry it's been so long since my last tutorial. If you follow my Facebook group or my Facebook page or me or anything um, I do on Facebook, you've known that it was a really hard month for our family um, for about the past month and I really had to focus on things that made me money instead of um, tutorials. So, But I really want to jump back into this today because I've had a couple of requests in my group for different, uh, different styles of designs like um, I really like that snap tab could you make it into a felty or I really like this could you make it into this and I want to share something that you can do in in brilliance using their software it's called splitting a design I believe and or maybe I just made that up I don't know but it, it makes it so that you can use a design in more than one way and as a digitizer it's really important that you know um, as a customer, it's really important that you know if the digitizer minds if you do this or not. For example, if you buy a design from a digitizer that has a puppy and a birthday cake applique, and you just want to use the puppy, some digitizers do not want you to split that up and just use one piece of it. I, I don't know how you find it out. Maybe it's on their um, terms of use. You might ask them first. Just make sure that it's okay with them that you use their design in the way that they want. For me personally, at Designs by Little B, I don't mind if you use my designs for different things, if you split them up to use them for different purposes. The argument could be made that, well, I'm missing out on a sale because you're not going to go buy the felty from me if you know that you can create this, a felty out of the snap tab. And that's true, but I also believe that you'll come back to my shop to buy more things because you know that you can use them in multiple ways. So it just depends on the digitizer. Make sure it's okay with them if you use their design, um, if you split it up and use it for different things. So today I'm going to be making, I'm going to show you how to make a felty out of a snap tab. You're going to split the design up using Embrilliance and basically just take that snap tab part off of a design. This is the Angel Wings snap tab that I have in my store at designsbylittlebee.etsy.com and this is the PES file I'm using right now. Even though I do have the digitizing module of Embrilliance, I'm, I'm opening this up in the way that you would see it if you were a customer and you were using it on your computer so that I can show you how to do it. If you go over here to expand the pieces, it shows you um, the first part right there, which would be the placement for the, for the um, snap tab. Then the next, um, the next step would be the wing part. And then the last step is the final bean stitch. You would place something to um, like a piece of felt underneath and it'll stitch out a nice finishing stitch for you. And um, I haven't done this and I haven't split a design up in a while because I have the digitizing module of Embrilliance, so I usually just do this in the in the working um, digitizing page. So bear with me if if I make a little mistake here or there, I'm kind of reacquainting myself with how to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the first part that I need to change, which is this placement. So I select it and you can see it's white so it's not showing up that well. Maybe I'll change it to um, let's change it to black so that you can really see it on the screen. Okay, so here's my first step. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this um, stitch simulator. It looks like a needle pulling thread and click on that. This will show you um, up here you see the, the color, a color bar for each step. And do you see the black? Um, I just made it I just made the placement stitch black so go up here to your bar and click on this rectangle this is your um, this shows where you are in the design and I'm gonna drag it across here we go we're seeing the wings as the placement as they stitch out and right at this point right here it starts up into the snap tab that's the part I want to delete, so that's the part I need to focus on. So 
let's go. You see up here, they have we have back and forward arrows. This is just does one stitch. So I'm going to hit back, back until it goes right there where I want it to cut off. That's where I want it to stop because I don't want that snap tab. Now when it gets to that point, and that's where you want it to stop, you go up here, guess what you're going to hit? The stop key. You insert a stop. Click on that, and it's going to give you a choice. Your color box is going to pop up. I'm going to change this next section to a totally different color than black. So let's do yellow or whatever color you want. It just needs to be different from black or whatever color you have in there. So now when you go up here to your steps, you'll see that the first step is the wings, which is what I wanted. And then the next step is the snap tab. Perfect. Now. I'm going to do the same thing with my final bean stitch. I'm going to drag all the way across until I get to that finishing stitch minus pink and it's going to go round and round and round and round and round and as soon as I get to that snap tab part I'm going to say whoa and I'm going to go up here to my arrows. I'm going to go back one stitch and it's a bean stitch so I got to make sure it, go it stops at the right spot. There it is. It has stopped right there at the end of that of the wings right before it goes up towards the snap tab and I'm going to say stop and I'm going to choose something way different from pink. Let's do uh, green. Now, now my design is separated into five parts instead of just the three that I started out with. The first is the wings outline. The second is that yellow uh, snap tab placement. The wings, which I don't want to change. Um, the finishing bean stitch for the outline of the wings. And the finishing snap tab. So guess what I'm going to do to delete the snap tab parts. I'm going to click on them and hit my delete key. Click on the snap tab and click delete. And bam, it's just that easy. Now the design that I save will be um, just the wings. So now it's more like a felting. And this in Brilliance, um, I have essentials, and it allows you to do that, splitting up designs and inserting stops to change them slightly. You can't, for example, take this um, wing shape and make it something different. You can't turn the, um, it's not digitizing software. You can't change the design that much, but you can make it bigger or smaller. You can insert stops and delete certain objects that you don't want. I do that all the time. If I have a design that has too many jump stitches, I insert stops to take out those jump stitches, for example. Um, so I highly, highly recommend this Embrilliant software. I have Embrilliant um, Essentials, and I call it a powerhouse. It is inexpensive. It does everything that I've ever needed it to do. I've used it for, I think, about four, over four years now. And it does everything I need it to do, and it's so inexpensive. I can't believe they don't charge more money for the software. You can find it at www.embrilliant.com. Dot com. They have a very active Facebook group as well, and they answer a lot of questions um, all the time on their Facebook group. Their support team is great, and I just highly recommend this. And as a digitizer myself, I reiterate, I don't care if you split my designs up and use them for different things. Um, just don't sell the designs or share them with others. We know that's a big no-no. So that's my little tutorial on how to... Um, insert stops and split designs to use them for different purposes and I hope that you have a great creative Wednesday and I'll see you next time. Bye!